we are live guys oh, welcome that? back to the false nine podcast episode six or 106 um how you doing johnny i'm doing good that's, doing it. The, that's it no i'm not doing good i'm actually pretty tired i'm pretty uh not stressed out but i feel like i over i overworked myself today so. yeah it's been uh tough the last few days um mm-hmm. let's kind of let uh our listeners know about a link that we have in our Spotify bio. Oh, uh, where we could leave don- donations? Yeah, yeah. Guys, there is a link on our Spotify page. Uh, if you guys are willing to, uh, you know, send us your, your love, your support, you guys could submit some donations on there for us. Mm-hmm. It, can, it ranges from a dollar. I'd say a dollar to like 15. Five I don't even to know. To 10, to 15. It, it's around that uh, realm. I'm not sure. We would appreciate it so much if you guys would uh, support us. Yeah, guys, and just know, like, any type of donation or any just support in general, it means a lot to us, but uh, also um, it helps us uh, with uh, equipment-wise, uh, microphones. Uh, I know we want to definitely get a new camera. Um, unfortunately, the camera that we thought we were going to use, uh, it's not good just for uh, video recording. There's a lot of uh, fallbacks on that. Technical so, issues. Technical issues. So we're going to stick to the iPhone camera for now, hopefully just for another month, and we can uh, purchase a better camera <clears throat> but uh besides that uh guys let's, let's get into the episode and if you guys are listening uh i really appreciate you guys a lot because we've been receiving a lot of feedback mm-hmm. these last uh the last week itself so if you're tuning in to episode six or 106 just know we love you and uh keep listening i don't know if you want to say or follow up with that um oh i i did kind of want to just throw out our socials in the beginning just in case they don't it doesn't reach it to the end Okay. I don't know if you want to. Guys, yeah. just follow me at on um, Snapchat at J Vegas. That is J A Y B G A S. Okay. <laughs> That's it? I think so. No Instagram? I think Instagram's the same thing. J Vegas. Okay. Uh for me guys, just follow me on uh Instagram at the Alvaro Vargas. Um just my first name, last name spelled with the in front. But um I guess what besides that Let's, let's get into it, guys. No, that was pretty weak. But, <clears throat> yeah, let's just hop into it, bro. Um, I know last podcast, we didn't even mention at all what was going on or anything. We just uh, got into it with Emilio. And uh, right now, what we want to talk to you guys about is kind of what happened, what we were doing. I, I know you guys know we were in Texas. But uh, we're just going give, to give you guys a, an overview of what happened. I mean, you can kind of let them know. Yeah exactly what happened and what we did so and then i'll just you know this was no vacation for us yeah it was not a vacation at all uh i would say it was a business trip you yeah, know it was we went down there for business and we got some business done mm-hmm. um we could start with that 18 hour freaking trip man how how was that for you uh it was uh tough bro uh it, i don't even know like i've done it before on my by my own yeah i mean you, you know? came driving uh, so like on your own over here but i think i knew that like the drive mentally was going to be challenging mm-hmm. because you got like first i mean it's nighttime it's dark we have a lot of time to think and your yeah. thoughts are just everywhere bro like oh, especially definitely. when it's dark like there's no end point like there's no like uh barrier it's just like back here back then so it's just like endless just thoughts bro you know yeah i mean you're literally just looking at the road <clears throat> and it's just you're looking at stripes, yeah, you know, yeah. all the way. So you're really not seeing anything. You're really not. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you don't look at anything. It's just the same yeah. thing over and over. So again. like, and we're not trying to exaggerate anything, guys. We're just trying to go into detail. Like, what are we thinking in the moment? And uh, just know that we're going through drastic changes every week in our life. So we just want to share those experiences with mm-hmm. you guys. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, like I'm thinking uh, on the way there, it was a lot of positive thoughts. So, um, at least for me, I know for you, it wasn't so so great. Um, it was tricky <laughs> yeah so i mean for me bro on, on the way there i mean it wasn't bad i know uh you drove for a few then i drove then we we, we stopped to, to sleep and i mean f- honestly bro like passing through st louis <clears throat> and all that stuff i was like damn like i want to visit st louis there yeah. was another, and then on the well on the way back but we'll get into that in a minute or later but um we passed by st louis and i was like fuck man like like, this is what's out here, you know? That's what I was thinking, like, yeah. at least the first few hours. And, I mean, we stopped at Steak and Shake, and we're just chilling, bro. And I was like, it's like bro, like, what if we could do this, like, every other week or, uh-huh. you know, like, once a month where we go out of town and 
and just go find out what St. Louis is about or just another city like Seattle. Shout out to AJ and Nico in Seattle. But, um, or just another city around in the States, you know, like I was really thinking, I was like, dude, like if you really want to, you can come visit St. Louis later. Yeah. In a driving, um, in a plane, uh, yeah. First class and, or even in a private jet if you really wanted to, you know? It's yeah. Just, I really wish we, we had enough to, or like more time to, yeah. to settle and, you know, just drive by like St. Louis yeah. for a while, you know, maybe like yeah, just spend a good out. hour, you know, eat something good there. I think uh, we definitely got to go and just make a drive over there and just to see what's out yeah, there. Just yeah, just to catch the vibe over there, see yeah. what's up. But yeah, that's what it was like for me, at least for the first, uh, I guess you said like eight hours. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to go over what you were feeling or thinking. I think I was just uh, emotionally distracted Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> by the female, so. <laughs> he just, said by the female, this guy. Yes, sir, so okay. that's just how it was, um, but... I mean, I got that fixed. After that, I think the trip was pretty fun. Uh, we had some good moments on the car. I know yeah. we were we were singing a lot. On the way there, though, <laughs> no, not so much. I, I think, think it was, bro. Uh, no, was no, it? No. It was a, on the on yeah. the way back. Yeah. Where we but we got to talk about that later. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's on the way back. Yeah. Stay I tuned know, for that. I think uh, yeah. they're going to be interested in what we were listening to and what we were singing yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> because, um, so it was like, I know... But okay, so this is this is where I do want to talk about a little bit, right? Mm. So you know how I pulled over and I stopped. I was like, dude, I'm tired. It was like three in the morning. No, it was two in the morning. Two in the morning. I was like, I gotta get some sleep. And uh, then you said that you had a you had to feel like you had to drive. It was so weird. Yeah. So we were, I think, halfway, right? Because yeah. I had already drove four. You drove four hours. Mm -hmm. And we stopped at a resting area. I don't even know where we were at. We're in Missouri. Missouri. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was around two in the morning. And I probably caught like two hours of like napping mm -hmm. myself, you know, when oh, you yeah, were right. while you were driving. Yeah. So once we reached that resting area, I I tried to take a little break too, you know. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna close my eyes too. Um, but it was so weird. I told you I ha I heard a voice. Yeah. Like calling my name. It was just like Johnny, Johnny. And I woke up and I looked over, you know, to see if it was you. Yeah. I was Damn, like, that's trippy. Yeah, but it was it was. It was weird too because it was a female voice, you know. Damn. It was like Johnny. Damn. Like I don't know. It tried to wake me up, um, and for some reason it, it woke me up to a point where I'm just like, you know what? I ha I just have to start driving. I really want to get to Texas. Yeah. I was desperate, you know. Yeah. Because I started feeling like if Anxious, I don't, so yeah, like, like if I don't wake up now, I'm gonna like probably fall asleep for another two hours, and we're just never gonna get to Texas. Yeah. Damn. Know? Okay. So yeah, I did wake up at three in the morning and. I just started driving, you know? Because I was like, I think I was only asleep for like 45 minutes, you know, because it takes me a while to fall asleep. Yeah. And then I seen you turn on the car and I was like, what is he doing, you yeah. know? And then um, I was like, and I think I asked you and you're like, no, dude, I just, I, just, I couldn't. I, you said something. You gave me some bogus, like, BS. Yeah. And I knew something was up, but I was just like too tired to care right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I was like, what's wrong with this dude? Like, I was like, and then I was kind of like tripping. I was like, I got to stay up, make sure you're good. You know, yeah. I was like this. And I know you kind of did because um, maybe like the first 15 minutes, I was kind of regretting, you know, like starting to drive yeah. because you told me about I, I was hitting like the, like the low bumps yeah. on the highway. Yeah. And that woke you up. You're like, bro, you good? And I was like, yeah, yeah bro, like I'm good. Yeah. Um, I did feel a little regret, but I overcame and I, I just kept driving. Yeah, because I know like, uh, I think you drove from like all the way till seven, right? It was like three to seven. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I didn't wake up. Well, I was in and out waking up and falling asleep, you know, till like six or five thirty. I remember. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get to see the sun go up. I know you did. Yeah. I was knocked out. And, uh. I was like, this guy's crazy. But I was like, I mean, he he did it. Mm -hmm. And then I know when I drove, I was in Texas, so that was really special for me. Yeah. And that's kind of how I wanted to plan it out, where I finished off in Texas and, and kind of drive there. And, bro, it's crazy, bro, because every time I get to Texas, even when I visited the last few times mm -hmm. in the plane, and I'm driving through Dallas all the way to Waco, it's just, like, such a satisfying feeling, bro, like, seeing the planes, the flat road, and, and just knowing that I'm in Texas. It's such a good feeling, but like I'm just like this is home. This is home. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. like I look at Chicago and I'm like, this is where I was raised, but it's not the same. Like, it's not the same feeling I get when I get to Texas, bro. Well, I get a different feeling when I get to Texas. <laughs> it's not like, 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 what the fuck? Like, there's nothing to see. Nah, but dude, I'm just. I know it's a different feeling for you. For it's sure. just like a vibe, bro. Like, I can like, if I had a ranch and a barn and everything, bro, 
I can just be there and, and just relax all day. Mm. I don't know. That's how I see it, bro. And, I mean, I think it's just beautiful. Yeah. But I mean, uh, we stopped at Whataburger like around 10. Uh, yeah, around 10. A so little, like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like before 10. breakfast because it was um, before 11. Yeah. Um, but uh, kind of like, I really want, I know your opinion, but most, at least 60 to 70% of our mm-hmm. listeners are from Texas. So you what guys, is your opinion on Whataburger? You guys hype it up too much. No, bro. Too much. No, it's, no, no. it's too greasy, and it just doesn't taste good. I'm sorry. No. I only ate it because I was hungry that day. Honestly, I would have left half the sandwich if I wasn't hungry. Oh, <laughs> my God. You would have broke my heart. The and I got fries, you the patty milk, too. The, the, the fries were shit, though. The fries were ass. Yeah. They tasted, like, straight out the freezer. Um, they were soggy. They are like, wet freezer still. It was, yeah. yeah they're nasty. I didn't like it. I didn't like it, um, but to all those Texas people listening, try out Culver's. Give it was right try. there too, bro. Yeah. It's weird that Culver's was right there. I was I never seen a Culver's in Texas till that day. Yeah, that's funny. That's it was funny so to funny. Me. I was like, wow, get this shit out of here. Uh, Culver's is a better version of Whataburger. In it's my opinion. not. It's not. Yeah. Um. Boy, they. <laughs> but uh, I do the. <gasps> You need to you need to have water burger. When we go, hopefully when we go next time in December, um, we get lit, and uh, we go to water burger. Um, it's a different type of uh, fulfillment, bro. But because you're so, you're hella lit and you're just like, oh, I bet you know, I bet, like greasy <laughs> food's just like it's max when you're when you're lit. <laughs> <laughs> I know it does. <laughs> and bro, everybody when we would go out over there, like bro, everybody's at water burger at two, three in the morning. Cause I mean everything closes at two, bro. Everything, every club and bars, most of them at least, um, they close at two, so everybody's up there at two in the morning, bro. Just mm. smacking. Waterburger lines are long, bro. That's crazy. It's the spot. That makes no sense to me. It's at the all. spot, bro. When you're hella lit, it's like you're in there just this guy. <laughs> I can taste it right now. So, uh, yeah, getting to Texas was amazing for me. It was magical, kind of seeing everything here and there. I was like, man, like this is home. Um, and I felt, you know how I told you last time, or the, the other times that when I went, it's just kind of negative energy. Yeah. Especially when I went to the gym. Um, <clears throat> but I think I kind of learned how to manage that. So, like, it was just a lot more positive. And I was like, I need to be positive. I need to share the positivity. I need to share this good energy I have, bro. You know, because I was just like, I think, I know for sure, like, when we got there, we were, like, super energetic, high energy, good energy, positive energy. And I know we're still kind of dwelling from from the whole trip now it's really it, and i told you this yeah. was going to happen yeah that still, i was like dude bef- like after you're going to see like the the fallbacks where you're going to get tired you're still going to be adjusting to schedule we are just tomorrow we have the day off to work like not work out like we planned it out and then we're finally going to get back in rhythm hopefully <laughs> hopefully yeah and i mean same thing with work um i think you can say maybe we'll be caught up or on schedule tomorrow you know and we got here about a week ago Right. Yeah, we're still catching up to the. Yeah, whole, we got here about a week ago. Um, to the whole drag, I would call it. Uh, so we end up obviously getting there. What time did we get to? Like around one. Oh, oh well, no, we stopped at Bucky's. I had to show uh, Johnny about Bucky's. Um, I know every Texan knows about Bucky's. It's just a local, like, like not statewide. Like, you know, if you're traveling, you gotta stop at Bucky's. Either just to use the restroom at least, bro. Restrooms are nice, you know. Yeah. And then uh, the food there is good. I know you see that. It video. looks badass. Brisket. Yeah. I was like, they cook briskets inside a gasoline <laughs> yeah, shop? Bro, like, yeah. What? That's probably the most. Yeah, that's some Texas shit. That right is there. some Texas shit right there. And uh, I know you bought. I bought a blanket. You bought a blanket and something else. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was the only places we stopped. Um, yeah, we didn't really stop anywhere else. Besides just use the restroom. Yeah. So then we get to Texas. Um obviously happy to see my family and then i had an interesting car i didn't even tell you about i was gonna ask you i didn't even see the conversation i had with my grandma right right here (laughs) yeah i was like dude your grandma the conversation you had with your grandma dude i know you were there for like a good 30 40 minutes minutes. 45 minutes it was a while i was kind of like shook i'm like oh shit like they're probably getting into it you know yeah Um, bro and it was magical what what was it about and so like we were just i was just telling my grandma like how everything's going because we don't talk over the phone we don't text or we don't call each other yeah so it was just kind of like from like the last month i'm just kind of like letting her know what's going on with me what's happening and Mm -hmm. then i just started to question her i was like grandma like like do you ever get these feelings or thoughts and you know it's more like a spiritual thing and and more like a religious thing i guess you can say 
And I started asking her about it and I kind of started telling her I was feeling like, I was like, I'm really starting to feel like a good person, positive person. Like, I feel like I'm something special, but not because of like who I am, like physically, but who I am, like spiritually, or if I'm connected to something or some other world, you know? Mm. And I was just like going into detail about that because she's like, I don't, I don't know if she's wise or she's just been through a lot of shit. I mean, she's my grandma, you know, mm-hmm. maybe she's both. But she understands what I'm com- where I'm coming from, bro. Like, she's just like, like, yeah, mijo, like, that's what happens when you believe and, and you trust. And Damn. basically what I was telling you today, like, you don't resist. And you just kind of go with what's being shown upon you, like, that path, bro. So it's just like, she's just telling me all this stuff, bro. And I'm just like, you know, my mind's blown. And I know you're over there waiting with my, my, my parents and stuff. I'm... um. And I was just like, man, I got to hurry up and, and go back. But then I was like, nah, like, these conversations are like... Like, one of a kind, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For and sure. I even said, I was like, that conversation was podcast worthy. Yeah. You know, because it was very touching, bro. And, like, it kind of just let me know, like, you know, my grandma's always going to be there. And then on top of that, like, just such a motivational motivation to, like, not necessarily, like, hurry up, but definitely get after it and, and kind of show my grandma, like, where I, like, where I can't, like, I mean, she seen me grow up, you know, same thing with my parents, but. It's funny, because while I was with your parents, they were so... They were kind of not like picking on you, but they were so surprised by how long that conversation lasted between sure. you and your grandma. They yeah. like, well, what the hell is my grandma or my mom telling you yeah. like the son right now? And it's like, I don't know, you know? Bro, like they don't, no offense to my parents, but they don't know like that side of me. Yeah. Because I don't think they're like that woke. Not I don't want to say the term woke. Yeah. Like that, like, um, like that, mi- like that mindset, you know, like that open to things. Mm-hmm. My mom is a little bit. But I think she doubts it, bro, because things she's been through, maybe she just doubts, like, that part of the world or yeah. life. So when I talk to my grandma, she, like, just, I think she is being my grandma, but also she just understands, you know, mm-hmm. what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm telling her. And it's just, it was just magical, bro, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm even going to talk to that one friend I talked to, like, not so long ago, hopefully tonight, and, and just trying to tell her how I've been feeling, because she gets right. what I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. you know, um, That'd be interesting. Yeah. 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 So then, yeah, bro, just talking to my grandma and just telling her everything that's going on. And she's like, yeah, like, I get you. And I just want to, like, show my grandma, like, kind of all those transitions. Because she's seen everything, bro, from, like, school, relationships, friends. She's seen it all, you know. And I've talked to her and I've been open about it with her. I haven't been as open with my mom about everything. So my grandma, like, just knows everything. Right. You know? And so, like, it would be such an accomplishment for me and just a good moment for me to, like, kind of show her, like, like all those things I believed and we talked about. Um, mm-hmm. This you can't scare me. Um, like, this is why it's, like, this is, like, it got me here, you know? Like, look. Yeah. And then I just want to, like, hopefully, like, you know, and I mean, I really think in two, three years that that could happen. So that's kind of how that conversation went. And, I mean, uh, for those people listening, like, just know that it's important to be open, um, to your conscious or to a voice in your head or to your spirit whatever it is that you want to believe in but just know that it's real and it's there bro like it's there and um i've been telling you these last few days man like it's been talking to me it's been trying to communicate with me and i don't know if it's like something's blocking it i don't know if it's like the devil blocking it i don't know bro but i know there's a Hmm. wall between that voice or my conscience or my angel trying to communicate with me like it's just desperate to talk to me bro and i can't comprehend what it's trying to tell me Mm mm-hmm you know, so everyone who like has those feelings or voices, just know like it's real. Like I hate. At first, I was so skeptical about all this, bro. But now it's just like I don't want to say I'm all in and I'm illusional, right? But I just know it's real and it's a real feeling. And like, there's just no denying it now. Like, yeah, it, it's a hard fact. So like, if you guys feel it, just find someone who's open to talk to about it, and just share everything together. Just share everything together because. Right. You guys would be surprised what you guys both are going to feel. Because I know we had some conversations, but the ones I had my grandma, bro, they're like, yeah, like, I felt that too. Or like, yeah, that's happened to me too. Or like with this other friend, like, yeah, like, I get those vibes too. Or like, I feel that too. Or I see that too. Damn. You're just like, and you might, you might do, you should maybe do that with like, talk to me about it. I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, uh, I have my personal person too to talk about those things, obviously. Well, I have my sister Mm -hmm. and my mom, you know. I was gonna ask you earlier. Have you talked to your mom or not? Yeah, I called okay, her. And good. She she wishes us good luck, bro. That's awesome. She senses us uh, our love and uh, her luck. You know, yeah, like just, yeah. just sending us good luck, bro. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, so off the get go, getting to Texas, it was very like 
I guess you can say like magical and kind of meaningful. I bet. And it felt like okay, I, I do have a purpose. Right. And that's what it really felt like. I do have a person purpose, and honestly, bro, that helped me so much just the rest of the, the day and trip the, there. Well, the trip there, I'm I'm assuming, yeah, man, because yeah. I mean, what the very next day, that's when we, we we had our, our business going down. Business, you know? yeah. Um, and what else? Hold on. What did we do that day, dude? We what took we a got? nap. Oh, oh yeah, right. And then we what did we do after? We ate. We I ate. Think, we ate food. <laughs> we ate. We didn't go out right. No, we didn't do anything that. Yeah, we sure didn't. It's good, but um, but I don't know, bro. Now that I think about it, like I didn't realize how good of a mood that set me for the whole trip. Yeah. You know? Now that I'm, I'm talking about it. Right. So I'm happy that happened, and it was magical, obviously, and uh, yeah, we we had bushes. Bushes chicken. Was that the same day? Uh, you had. Bush's I had bushes. Chicken. You had tacos, right? Or I, I had a. I had a. a Burrito? Yeah. Burrito. Yeah. yeah. I had bushes. Um, The next day we had bushes, right? Yeah. With Angel. With, yeah. With Angel. With the homie Angel. Um, My son. <laughs> so, we were there. We ate. We didn't do much in that day, right? No, we didn't. I mean, dude, we were just tired. Yeah. We had just come back. Or we were on that trip for a while. Yeah. And we were sleep deprived, dude. Oh, we, we did end up going to the... We went up to the ice cream shop that night. And then oh, we went we to the bar that same night. Oh. That was that night, yeah. Because I remember wow, I was okay. drinking, and I didn't want to drink no more because I was going to drink later. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we did that. Uh, so but tell that, me about that, or what were you going to say? Well, it wasn't strictly business that whole No, no, that it was kind of like a little overview. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, just that night, I guess, experience for you, what was that like? Just like, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't nothing, like, as magical as yours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, I got there in a good mood. Obviously, I didn't want to be too distracted by right. what was going on through my mind. And yeah. I think what was on my mind was just, uh, like, irrelevant mm-hmm. to the whole business trip. So I kind of had to mentally push that aside. And I'm like, I have to focus. I have to focus. I don't want to So when you're, like, telling, when you're telling yourself that, is it literally, like, I have to focus, I have to focus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is there, like, like, more, like, I have to focus because of this or my purpose is, like, what do you... Cause I want you to be more open to the audience, Dude, bro. So you know, and break it down to them about your your thought process. What happens? You... What happens? That's very true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. You're just true. like, yeah. I told myself to push it. I was like, not nah, like. Okay, on, so when that happens to me, man, when I catch myself thinking about irrelevant stuff, let me just check the camera, or like problems like that, it's good. Uh, like. Yeah, when that thought of, like, irrelevant thoughts come through my mind and I know I have to be focusing on something else, I relate a lot to the book. Like, I try to think back to the book that I read, like, The Simple Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Mm -hmm. It's just like, bro, like, right now, this doesn't matter. Like, this isn't going to impact you right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, As the thoughts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just like, dude, try not to give a fuck about this right now. Like, this shouldn't change your mood. Oh, fuck. We don't have a mirror right now. Why? Because I want to see the camera. We should have. I'm just paranoid because of life. Mm-hmm. But it, we shouldn't have any issues. So you said the book just kind of like your thoughts. You're saying that you shouldn't care about the thoughts in that moment because they don't matter. Yeah, um, it's just like simply just choosing what to give a fuck about at that moment. And I told myself, I'm like, I really have to focus on this work. I shouldn't really be focusing on what's going on, like emotionally with me. Yeah. I just yeah. wanted to get that work done and get that work done, uh, like. To a point where I feel satisfied about it, you know? I, I didn't want to feel like... Uh, like you could have done more? Yeah. Like you're left. Yeah, yeah like... Yeah, or it's not or, leaving anything on the table. Yeah, and also just, like, making sure... Uh, like, I wasn't, like, a burden to you, in a way. Yeah. You know, like, you weren't also carrying me, like, oh, come on, John. No, I want to keep up with you. And that's yeah. that's always my mentality, too. Yeah. Like, against you, man. You know? Yeah. I'm like, I have to keep up with this motherfucker, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure sometimes you feel like that, too. You know, like, oh, I have to keep up. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, man. Um, that's how I, that's how I was throughout my trip. What's that? Low I want to talk about that later because I do have something to say about it. Keeping um, up with each other. What? Oh, keep, just keeping up with each other. That has been a big deal for me, like the last five days. I'll mm. talk more about it in a good way, though. Yeah. Um. So then, obviously, that's Friday night. The day we get there, no Saturday night. I'm sorry. So, mm-hmm. 
Sunday. That's Sunday. Sunday, night. Sunday yeah. night. Then we go to the bar. It's fucking lame. It's Sunday night, though. But we were also very freaking exhausted, tired. Yeah. And we were just, you know, we were just trying to have some fun that night. Yeah. But honestly, I mean, it was pretty it was pretty dead. And it's funny because there's a guy walked out and you were like, what did you say about him? Like, le están regañando or something like that? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you said something. And then, like, we were there. And when we came out, he was still on the phone. Okay, so, yeah, this guy came out. He was, like, I don't know. He had this, like mood to him he was already like sad it's like that drunk mood when you walk out the fucking bar with your phone in your hand fuck they already got me like oh shit like i gotta walk out and he sat down there he sat down on the bench across from the bar and i was just like bro that guy already fucked up you know (laughs) yeah you're like (laughs) yeah oh yeah, that was like funny. that guy's done for yeah and then so we went inside that bar and it was actually a pretty cool bar it is cool uh, I like the concept of it. You know, you could just play video games um, while just getting lit with your friends. Yeah. And I thought the whole cereal thing was funny, bro. Yeah. I even asked him, like, what's up with the cereal? So there were cereal at the bar. Cereal boxes, you know? like And lit- cereal. Yeah, literally. Cereal boxes yeah. inside containers. And we were just like, what the fuck is up with the cereal boxes? Like, the cereal boxes yeah. out on top of the bar, you know? And uh, I guess we kind of asked out loud. Or like I asked you out loud, like what the fuck is up? Oh, and this girl, and this yeah, this girl that was on the bar at the bar, she was just like, oh, they have to have some sort of, they have to have some food, you know, to keep this bar open. And I was like, what? Like really? Like Texas really be like this, you know, bro? Texas, man, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. (laughs) Yeah, that was good. It's funny. I thought it was hilarious. I was just like, all right, well, whatever, you know, whatever works. So, I mean, we kind of just have one beer and then we call it a night. Nothing special because obviously we were tired. But that same guy was still out there on the phone when we left and we we're like. Yeah, well, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be like that guy, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was that's like, a good example. Like looking back at it now, I'm like, that could have been me the whole trip, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, I was strong enough to just be like, you know what? I'm not going to like worry about it too much i'm just gonna yeah. push it to a side and just yeah. focus on what's going on here yeah so then the next day happens and uh this is uh monday monday uh like afternoon um uh, what did we do that morning i know we woke up and well, we went to walmart and to the oh yeah we went to go and then we went cable. then we had uh bushes and we had angel yeah mm-hmm. what do you think about bushes it's pretty it's pretty good yeah i love bushes. Max. yeah gravy on point yes sir Thank you. You would have broke my heart if you would have not like it, bro. Yeah, no, it's all right. So then we go to uh, business. Uh, we go to this ice cream shop. We're not going to say names uh, just yet. But we go to the ice cream shop. We do a photo shoot. We take your videos. We're taking notes. Taking notes, writing shit down. Shit's getting real. Yep. What is that like for you? I never thought I'd do that in my life. Uh, I never thought I'd sit down and, you know, just, like, try to look for places of improvement in a shop, you know, yeah. that we're going to help, uh, you know, bring grow, some business yeah. in. Yeah, grow. Uh, it, it, it was a little, like, I was shook by it, yeah. you know? That's it. <laughs> I mean, shit, what else? I mean, like, because for me, bro, like, that wasn't my first time doing that. I've done that one time before. Oh, yeah. you And it you almost have. felt kind of, like, fake like kind of too good to be true i don't know if that's what it was like for you yeah 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 you know like oh this is some bogus ass shit i don't know but it was also very exciting to me man you know oh yeah same same i was sitting down with my my little notebook and i was just like writing down notes i'm like places of improvement is this like i could do this i can incorporate that Mm -hmm. you know like i could remake these flyers i could you know uh, bring this up to them see if it's a good idea like i was my mind was just racing that whole day yeah and um, I even gave you the idea I'm like bro Once we get back to Chicago bro Like we're gonna go to All these ice cream shops yeah. And you know We're gonna compare and contrast We're gonna see what's working for them What's working for For us Yeah You know Just see where we could uh, Improve on Yeah So like I've done that before And it felt kinda like You know Lame But it's because also They weren't kind of On the same train as me Like they weren't about it And they ended up Falling off We ended up falling off So nothing happened But for me It was like Okay like this is your real Chance You're gonna get some more away. No Huh? Oh. Oh, that shit. You need some more? I might. Shit. But anyway, in a minute, yeah. <laughs> so we, so I'm thinking like, man, like this is your shot. Like, this is your time. You're such on a good fucking streak, bro. Like everything's <laughs> working out for you. Um, like you have to perform today, and this is I'm gonna talk about this too. You know, it's like you have to perform today. You like I was mentally ready, bro. Like no doubt about it, right? 
So I'm like, okay, like we get into it, and I did get exhausted at the end. I remember I was like, fuck, I'm tired. But um, I got tired of eating all the food. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but it was beautiful, like having a group of people that actually like support you, like the business itself. Like they were supportive. Yeah. They believed in us. They were respectful to our work. Like it was such a good feeling. Like, like I like this feeling where like you know like we have. They put us in our place. Like, yes, you guys are going to be a big deal for the business. We were appreciated. Yeah, you know, and I was like, that felt good, you know? Yeah. And, um, but, uh, yeah, bro, that's how it was for me. It was just, like, very magical, and, and it felt good. And, and kind of seeing, like, those eyeballs on you, like, you know, like, what are they doing? They're outside taking pictures. And, and yeah, I mean, that's how I felt, too, yeah. when we were outside and the cars were just driving by us, yeah. you know? People were just like, you know, like, I'm but pretty sure people were asked, like just yeah. curious to know what the fuck we were doing. Yeah, like damn, like what what do they got going on over there? Right now, I people in that. six months later, they're gonna see like, oh shit, I see what they were doing. They are gonna see in this this upcoming mm, month, yeah. bro, for this this Dude, event that we have planned out that, that you event. had that you created, you know, that you thought about, and you're like, bro, we got to have. I was like, we gotta event. create an event, and yeah. then they were like, on this day, and I was like, let's do it. Yep. Um, I'm so like, and this is what I mean. Like, I know these things, bro, but I doubted myself so much in the past. Mm -hmm. I don't have that confidence that's all it is like I'm not gonna give it out there like that but that's what it is about you know like kind of what I was saying that night and they were like yeah and that's the only reason why this event's happening because I was like it's the best thing to do if you market for a few months and you set an event a free marketing tip guys as a business market the shit out of your business on Facebook and Instagram two months one month in you find a special day and you make a fucking event and you invite everybody. You talk to everybody. This is why you guys need to be nice and be friends with everybody. Because then you got friends. They're in the Shamer Commerce and the fucking radio station. They have this business. And and then you get to host a big-ass event in Waco. It's going to be the biggest event in Waco. Like, in the whole year. That's you know? funny. That's awesome, bro. It's going to be bigger than the Baylor games because nobody can go. <laughs> <laughs> um, So, like, yeah, bro. And, like, now that shit's getting real. But, anyways, back to um, that day... So, like, the night starts... Oh, no, like, so when people are passing by and they're, just like, seeing us, before, the past me would have been, like, like so insecure about it, Right. Bro. I was like, oh, Like, no. people are going to be laughing at me. People are going to think I'm cringy. But then I was, like, it motivated me more. Like, come on, like, you know, flex on the... Like, just exaggerate the videos. Exaggerate when you're taking pictures. You were out here squatting in the middle yeah, of the street middle taking of the pictures, fucking, bro. bro. You know, it's just, was, like... No fucks given. I was like, yeah, guys, like, keep an eye on me because motherfuckers are going to be coming up, you know? Mm-hmm. But the past me would have been like, nah, I'll yeah. just, I can take a picture from here. Yeah, and so, been okay with yeah. that. Settle for less. Yeah, bro, but now it's, we're on different levels, and it's kind of like that, that mindset, bro, like that growth mindset, and it's still growing. Right. Sorry. <clears throat> and um, so then I know the night comes almost to the end, and we're just like, not that, I want to say like ready to go home, but we're trying to wrap up. And then uh, they kept throwing stuff at us. Like, hey, guys, oh, take a picture of this. Take a picture yeah. of this. And I was just like, bro, I'm trying to wrap up. Like, I'm trying to, like, get Be ready. Because we were getting ready for that podcast that night, too. Yeah, we were we, trying to yeah. make it to the podcast that night. But that was funny, man. They were just like, hold up, hold up. Yeah. We're making a banana split. Come take a picture of it. Yeah. You know, and we were just like, damn it. And then the whole USB drive thing. Yeah, they were like, that. oh, upload it. And then it ended up, like... Like, not whole, working. It ended up not working for yeah. us, man. But... Yeah. I mean, shit, you still pulled through, man. You yeah. still made it work. <laughs> so then, I mean, I remember, like, just, like, packing up, bro. I was just like, wow, what a day, you know? Yeah. I was like, this is the first of many. That's what I was in my head. I was like, this is the first of many. And I even told you, I was like, man, if I was going through the shit that I was going through a few months ago, I couldn't have performed how I performed today. Right. You know, if I was going through the drama, not necessarily the drama, but just the things I was going through um, in, in my life, I would have been like, man, there's just no way I would have pulled that off, you know? Mm -hmm. Having that positive attitude, that energy... And that just that mindset, like, okay, what what do we need to like just just getting out the box, bro, and just thinking, what do we got to do to be successful here? Right. And it was it was just like I was uh, I know I couldn't perform, so I mean that night I mean it was good to feel confident and and strong enough to feel like okay like I did good today. Right. Um. And I knew if I was in the place I was just three months ago, there was no way I was gonna be able to do what I did. And I think what we did was fucking awesome, man. We did a lot of good stuff. How many pictures did we end up taking? 700. Fuck. And I told you our goal was 500. Over and you, you even doubted it. You were like, there's no way. No there's way. no... I was like, I don't know. I mean, I was taking pictures off your phone, yeah. but 
I was just like, there's no way I took more than like a hundred myself, you know. But I don't even know how much I took. I want to say you took. I know more than a hundred. I don't yeah. remember. I was, it was yeah, yeah. It was it was good, man. It was and fun. Then, uh, that night, um, we had to rush home because uh, our boy Emilio was waiting for us for the podcast that you guys hopefully heard last week, or you guys haven't heard it yet. Guys, please listen to that podcast. Amelia has been through a lot of shit. And Truly touching for me. And he was he's been through a lot and it's just amazing to see people in your community, at least in my community, to like they go through shit and they're still fucking pushing. Yeah, you still see them success and yeah, stuff. They, you know? they wanna be, be successful. happy. Being happy in just like I feel like it's the most important thing, you know? Yeah. Because it like he said, you know, it's not about the money, it's not about the success, it's just about being happy. You know, it's just like, what yeah. really touched me is like when that happened to him he kind of like realized his purpose in life mm-hmm. and I was just it gave me chills he's like from that day on like everything I did was through him and stuff like that so like yeah I was just like wow damn like, it's crazy to think like it, like yeah. you know I don't know man because if you someone else in a different situation they can kind of I don't want to say like play victim but they kind of have that mentality, you know, like, why me? And, and you know, they're upset and depressed. And um, I know, like, it's a major thing. But, um, you know, you, you have to find ways to, to push through and move on forward. Yeah. You have a lot of respect for Emilio, especially for the age he's at. He's only a year older than us. No, oh, definitely, bro. Me too. And uh, it was very special. So we get there. I think we're kind of having technical difficulties. We were. Yeah. Um, the camera, I don't even know if it was charged and, like, the memory and then. We got a tripod for it, and then we had to switch cameras mid podcast. Yeah, it was a little tricky for you. And, uh, <laughs> we went on for what two hours and a half. Fuck yeah, dude! It was badass. It was a good ass podcast. Good ass experience. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, we got lit like always. It was fun, exciting, good talk, kind of good conversation in general. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what it felt like for me. It just felt like really good. Like when he finally pulled up. Cause you know how I told you I was like man like good things never happen to me like this where people actually come through or they show up and I was just so happy for me to show up and when I see him pull up to the driveway and I was like wow this is about to this go down. is really happening because you were like I didn't feel like it was really happening yeah. until he pulled up yeah you know? yeah because you, same you had a little with, doubt same thing with the photo shoot I was just like you know we'll see and then the way they like were like go oh, do this do that I need you to do it. I was like okay you guys want us here yeah. So the same thing with Amelia was there. He was like, "Man, what's up? Like, how you been? Right. And like, we were talking, and then I know you were talking to him for a little bit. Yeah. And I was like, it's about to go down. Like, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. And it was just so happy, and I was ex- like, I was happy, and I was so excited, and I was like, man, this podcast is definitely gonna go places, like, you know. And that was like almost like the the, the last like ha- like the hammer pushing now, like you know we're locked in now, like. This is gonna happen, and we're gonna make it work. Whether it takes a few months or a few years, but it's it's gonna happen. Yeah, man. And I've been, I mean, I've been giving, I've been getting feedback from, I guess, my best friend Jose. You know, yeah. I mean, you heard the phone call yeah, uh, with said, me. Yeah. Uh, when he called me, you know, I called him. You know, he he gave us a lot of, of yeah. He yeah. showed a lot of love to us. I mean, he's our first uh, supporter, I Subscri- guess. You know. Yeah, like as in donation wise. Yeah, man. Yeah. He's paying five months or five dollars a month. Yeah, to listen to a false night podcast. So yes, shout out to Jose for that. Really appreciate you. Yeah, man. Thanks for believing in us, bro. And uh, <laughs> what was your like besides like you know everything else with the experience with the podcast? What else was it like to, you know to be in that setting, bro? Uh, I felt prof- I, I felt like I had to take myself more serious and be like okay you're you got to take yourself more like I I told myself take yourself more serious. You're a fucking professional now. You know, yeah. it was just like how I how I said uh, to myself back then. I'm like, dude, you're a graphic designer now. Like, this is who you fucking are. You know, so yeah, man. I just try to kept on telling myself that I was just like, keep yourself professional, be professional. You know, be be on point. And I think the feedback. So now, like, um, well, we'll talk about that in a minute, actually. So like, you know, podcast goes well, guys. Um, and you guys showed a lot of love for that, and I really appreciate you. Um, I don't think I had that many views on Snapchat, Instagram all that shit um you guys definitely came up with that and i see what you guys like so we're gonna definitely have some trips uh the next few months um, yeah coming up so guys stay tuned for that and keep showing love to us and to the channel yeah to this the spotify uh, channel and everything um so then the next morning uh so the podcast was successful everything went as planned and better 
um, and it was just amazing, good time, good experience, and um, like I was just like, it's gonna work, this is gonna work, and uh, I love this, you know, I it's crazy to like, the, this podcast, bro, like it's like the love I feel almost for soccer, to be honest with you. Mm, that's deep. It is, bro, but it's just like, I don't think you know how much like I love doing this, you mm. know, I don't think you do, but I mean it's okay, but I'm just like, dude, I love this, like this is. <clears throat> like this like I love soccer but I think I love it as a fan and uh, I was like but I love this and I think this is something like you can definitely make a career out of yeah keep it as like a profession you could say you know because I think now like you know people can hear my voice and I've always wanted to like help and uplift people and obviously like I love conversations you know especially the real ones genuine yeah. ones and no bullshit ones you know yeah and uh, so yeah that's when I like that night I slept like a champ and I was like bad you know and uh, on the way back, you know, it was, uh, it was, uh, how do I say? It was very satisfying to drive back. The drive back? Yeah. You felt accomplished? Uh, yeah, it was like mission complete, you know? Mm-hmm. I was like, now just get back home and. On to the next. And get back home and, like, it, it's not like, hey, you go to Texas and have a good time. It was like, we went to Texas to, for business, podcast wise, career wise, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And now we go back, uh, settle in Wednesday, and then we have to go work to work Thursday. Which I thought, so I noticed something too, uh, before we left, man, you know, I was, I mean, it made me kind of, kind of sad to see. What? But like, I saw your mom cry. Oh, yeah. And I know you were kind of like a little emotional about it too. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, damn, you know, but like, like you said, it was like more of a business trip and you know, you kept it professional too, I would say, you know, I was just, I didn't want to ask about it, but it's just like, all right, he's keeping it, he's giving it like. But it's like, um, it I see my mom cry, bro, and like, it, it brings me down, and I know my, how much like love my mom has for me. Yeah. But it's just like, mom, I gotta let you go, just for like a few months, because yeah. I want to be successful. Right. And I don't want you to cry because I'm leaving. I want you to cry because I, like, you're like, my son made it. You know, I want you to be proud to call me your son. Shit like that, bro. Yeah. So it doesn't phase, like, I don't want to say it doesn't phase me when she cries, but at the beginning, like, at the first one, like, I was like, Mom, like, really, you're crying? Like, it got me sad, you know? Yeah. And I went to North Carolina, she was crying, too. <laughs> and I was crying, and, like, you know, I was like, fuck, like, this shit sucks, you know? But yeah. now it's just, like, like, Mom, like, it's, I'm not leaving because I don't, like, I don't want to be home, like, it's dude. because of that. It's like, if I could, like, I want to be there with you guys. Like, you know, shout out to my parents. Like, I want to be home with my mom or my dad and, and try to build that family and, and make it strong again and complete like it used to be, you know? Because, I mean, we fell apart, kind of, and we went our separate ways, but I know, like, our time's coming to be back and united again. Yeah. But it's just, like, it's just, like, I gotta, like, I gotta walk away from you guys just for, like, I know for sure at least a year, you know, to to develop as myself and, and find who I am. Yeah. Because, dude, when I left Texas, I don't know who I was. I don't know what I wanted to do. I don't know what I wanted to be, you know? It's just so many, like, I don't know, but I have to go find myself. I have to go, like, look for myself and and find who I am and yeah. that's kind of what's been going on like you know especially like lately yeah, why are you laughing bro because it made me think that your mom even told me she's like oh like maybe Goyo could stay you know and you could take uh, no your mom was like maybe Goyo could stay and then your dad was just like oh how, how is he gonna like or who's gonna help him with the drive back and your yeah. mom was like oh he could take a few cats with him yeah he was just joking around you know I was just like, that's cute you know like, I know your mom's gonna miss you and I was yeah. just like what in the back of my mind, I'm like, hopefully it doesn't distract him. But I'm like, nah, like I shouldn't even be worrying. Yeah. Like, I didn't feel worried, you know. Yeah. Just like, I know, nah, dude, I know like, how he's feeling. Yeah, like I'm luckily, like you know, I've kind of coped with it and know how to manage it. Yeah. But now it's just like when I see my mom cry, I'm just like, I was like, mom, you're crying for the wrong reasons, you know. It's mm-hmm. just like you're gonna cry later because like, you know, the day your birthday comes and all those times I didn't get your birthday gift, like now, like I surpassed that. 10x times you know like i'm gonna get you your dream car i'm gonna get your dream house you know i was just like mom like calm the fucking tears down because like you're gonna cry for real once i get you what you want you know and yeah and not like a materialistic thing but like kind of like like kind of like um like you know this is what hard like my parents might have not like shown me like how to be uh like go find school and educate yourself but they taught me a lot of like like, I want to say, like, mental toughness, like, you know, like, it's a fucking jungle out there, like, no one has your back, and I don't know if they did it on purpose, or because, like, they just kind of, like, that's just how they were, right, but they kind of taught me, like, especially my dad taught me, like, like, no one has your back, like, Damn. You, you gotta go fucking, 
if you can't do it, like no one's gonna do it for you. And my dad pissed me off so many times like that, bro. But he had he has good points. Sometimes he'd be tripping, <laughs> but like most of the time, it's like he is who he is because like he got to the states when he was sixteen and he had to make a living for himself, you know. Right. And that might and I mean, dude, imagine you at sixteen years old, Jeez. walking fucking miles. Like I don't even know how long that walk is. Yeah, man, and then just starting from the ground up, like, dude, he had nothing, you know? I mean, it's it's the same story for my dad, so I get where you're coming from And it's like, look where we are now. If it wasn't for the sacrifices they made, like, where the fuck would we be at, you know? So, like, I take that into consideration, and I used to, like, kind of, like, have an ugly feeling to my parents, bro, to, like, like, oh, you guys, like, almost like you don't love me, you know? Like, you guys are so mean to me, you guys don't buy me shit, you guys don't get me shit. You know, like, you guys don't take me places. You guys don't let me hang out with my friends. Yeah, damn. Dude, it was like, they didn't let me, like, hang out with friends, bro. It was so hard for me to go to football games. It was so hard for me to have sleepovers. Damn. And I think they were so, but they were so, I think they were so scared of, like, the world. Like, oh, what if you get robbed? What if there's this? What if there's that? Like, But also, I was just, like, in my head, I'm like, like, parents, like, my to my parents, like, you can't hide me from the world, you know? And I think that's a mistake that they made, honestly, like, mistake-wise. They were trying to hide me from... Like, they were trying to protect us, you know? And I get it. But um, I know... But they did teach us a lot of discipline, bro. I know there's a lot of people out there that, that don't know how to do their laundry. They don't know how to wash tissues. They don't know how to take care of themselves. The only reason why I know how to live how I live, you know, by washing dishes, brushing my teeth, taking a shower, shaving, all that, is because of my parents. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for that, bro, like, you know, who knows, like what the fuck I'd be at because when I went to boot camp bro in the army um, a lot of people didn't know how to do laundry a lot of people didn't never use the fucking broom they didn't mop before I hate seeing that I they hate just it. didn't know but I mean some people just have it like that bro and you kind of like it is what it it's is like what dude I've seen people like not know how to broom like hey can you hold the freaking uh, dustpan for me I'm like you don't know you've never used your shoulder and your chin your cheek to to help yourself out yeah i'm just like come on man like what yeah, yeah. it's shocking to me and, and how you i don't know I can't. and my parents bro they tell me discipline like i got b did you ever get b no no see i got whooped bro i got whooped once and i learned my lesson damn see i was stupid as fuck um it was weird how i was raised bro because let me finish go ahead go ahead yeah, no, i want to talk to you this yeah, about, yeah, yeah this is a good conversation i'm um, so like i mean like back to uh, You know how my mom You were in boot camp Yeah yeah But like you know I was just kind of like Wow people don't know how to do shit oh. And I really appreciate Like my parents for that And I'm never gonna take that away from them Because like now You know I listen to all these Like Gary Vee He's like your parents just don't know Like any better You know they, they come from immigrant families They come from Mexico like, He that's, says that? No Gary Vee says No this. he said that? Yeah He's like they don't know any better Like he's like I, w- I came My parents came from Russia Like they were just like You gotta work and that's that's, like that's, that's what you life. get, yeah. Yeah. So I think my our parents are the same way. I'm like I think you and me are gonna show, um, our family Vargas Fernandez. I don't know what else is out there, um, related to us. Yeah. Um, it's gonna show them like, hey, like, you know. That's so weird. Man. They're gonna be like, why don't you be like your uncle? Why don't you be like your primo Alvaro or Johnny? That I that I know that's what's gonna happen because like, you don't have to go to school and get it. I got to school. I'm the first Vargas to get educated besides high school, bro. I actually have a college degree. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I'm the first one. You're the very, 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 very fucking yeah. first, first one, one bro. bro. First one, bro. First one. I think that's one of the more main reasons why I did it, to be honest Jesus. with you. Jesus. And, um, but that it's was, not. That was my reason to go to college, bro. And it's not an accomplishment <laughs> I feel so proud for. And I was like, I don't want, I don't want, like, our families to look up to me and be like, oh, go to school. Like, I don't know. You didn't want to have that expectation of, like, oh, go to Yeah, like, I didn't college. want people to look up to me for college, you know? Um, and again, Back to the parents thing, it kind of like they taught me. It was kind of like a proven thing, like I can prove to them, like I can be somebody, you know. Mm. And I think um, I was a little obsessed with that. Like I wanted to prove to my parents, like I can be somebody. And that's like never a good intent or motivation, bro, to prove anybody wrong, you know. Especially your parents. Um, so like it was very like, like uh, I don't know how to say. It. Like like I said, I almost felt like hate, not hate, but like I didn't. I was upset with them for a long time, bro. You know, because how they were with us. And um, and I know, like, recently, too, like, they kind of, like, realized the damage that they did. They did cause, like, damage, you know. And, and, and I'm pretty sure every family goes through shit like this. And um, it yeah. is what it is. And it happened. 
you know but i do appreciate like the discipline they taught me bro because like um luckily um like i would always i had i had to ask permission for almost everything to play playstation to watch tv to watch it i had a, wow. like they were strict on me bro yeah seems and like they kind of taught me morals of life and how to like do certain things the right way and the wrong way but they they never told me like oh you can't draw or you can't not play football or you cannot like do this in high school they were like oh, okay yeah like i'll pick you up whatever hmm. they did the minimal like you know hey i'm gonna stay after school for this and that okay like what time do you pick you up I was like, okay i know other parents don't let their kids do that shit bro Mm-hmm. You know, and I really appreciate that because, like, dude, like I went to the army and then I came back. I went to North Carolina and came back. Like, like luckily, I've been blessed enough that they take me back and they're like, you know, you failed, you know. But we're here, whether they were happy or, or upset about it, like that's a different story. But they accepted me back, mm-hmm. and that kind of let me know, like, okay, like now I know that my parents, like, if I go fail in life, I know my parents will take me back. And for that, I was so thankful for because I realized that. Because even when I came here, I was like, if I go to Chicago and I come back, I know my parents are going to take me back, but it's a diff- like they might be upset with me, you know? Yeah. That's a different story. And I was just like, but now I was just like, I appreciate just like everything my parents done because I know if one thing would have been tweaked or changed, bro, I wouldn't be in the position I am now, you know? So. Shout out to your parents. Yeah, bro. Right shout out to them and like. Uh, I know one day build you the man you are now oh for real like <laughs> I know like maybe like you know 50 50 because 50, a lot 50? of a lot of it had to do with myself but if I didn't get put in those <coughs> tough situations by them I wouldn't find who I am I, I can't find who I am you know I can't find this person I am yeah so man. like you know one day uh, hopefully my dad my dad calms the fuck down because that man got issues bro <laughs> um, it's so weird that you say that because the way I see him I see him as just pure fun man he's super chill he but is, I could, but I could dude, see him being strict this man as fuck too. stresses the fuck out sometimes and I'm like dude you gotta chill the fuck out like I tell my mom this I was like mom what am I gonna do like if I get this man everything he wants in the world is he still gonna be chill and she's like mijo no and I'm like what the fuck he needs to find some type of like relax I don't know man but um <laughs> and I tell my mom I was like, and I tell my mom too when she's like telling me the shit she's going through I'm like mom just like push through like I promise you that I'm I'm making all the sac. I know you made your sacrifices and stuff, but it's I was like, turn. but I was like, now it's my turn to make the biggest sacrifice for the family, and I'm gonna like return, like I'm gonna have the biggest return, you know? Yeah. And as an investment or sacrifice, and like I'm gonna come in Damn. and secure that bag for us, or secure like honestly secure the bag. I don't give a fuck what people have to say. Like I want to take care of my family and and bless them, bro, and yeah. and make sure that there's never nothing they need like whether it's a fucking food or whether it's a fucking horse i don't give a fuck wow. you know Deep. but uh yeah like shout out to my my parents and mom and dad i uh, just know i love you guys and uh deep, i am deep, drinking deep. and i like to smoke weed now so hey. <laughs> <laughs> and i know my mom bro like i don't i don't think she's gonna listen to this and if she does like it is what it is but she has like such a like a hate feeling like or nasty feeling towards weed bro it's so uh, funny well yeah you know i'm just like mom you gotta relax like it's not i'll like oh, like mom you gotta smoke some weed no, yeah man <laughs> nah nah she's not like that but um yeah she just has this negative like uh pretty like the kind of like that's why that's where that's, i got it from that's probably yeah i was gonna say that man it's probably where you got it from i know you had this negative perspective yeah. on weed you just thought like anyone who smoked weed was just a bum or bum. bum wrong yeah negative yeah yeah, man, but it's it's definitely not like that. So, but uh, kind of tell me your how you were raised. What was uh, it like? It's now weird. that we're talking about it. it. It is a little weird for me, man. I, I know, know it's different. It's very different for me. Uh, I know you might have like a different perspective on like my parents. Uh, I've been mostly raised by my dad, mm-hmm. uh, but to me, I see it as like it's so weird, bro. Uh, I was never beat. Yeah. I was. I don't want to say I was spoiled, mm-hmm. but I did receive enough from my parents to Mm -hmm. a point where i was just like happy with with my life yeah um every action i did like you said your parents were strict my parents were not strict but i don't have nothing against that like because like you kind of like kind of tell me like yeah what was that like but i knew that my actions yeah my actions had consequences you know if i were to get in trouble it'd be on me Mm -hmm. you know if i was to get in a fight it'd be on me if I was to get hurt, it was on me, you know? Like, uh, cool. I don't know. That's just the way I was raised, bro. Like, do whatever the fuck you want, but just know 
the consequences are gonna be on you and yeah. don't look for us you know see i didn't learn that till like three four years ago yeah man yeah. i was raised like that since the beginning and yeah. that's i don't know like to me i was just like well i better not fuck up my life because <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be on me you know they're not gonna be there to rescue me or help me uh but that one time i got that beating bro i was just how like, old were you i was maybe like 13 what, was it here in park city it was in park city <laughs> i was like 13 bro who was your dad my mom damn and that's why it shocked me so much much bro because like mom i'm a mama's boy bro yeah no same here i'm a big mama's boy and i guess i crossed the line or something and can you like, say what you did uh, I was picking on Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel? Gabriel. Little Gabe? Gabriel. Wow. How old was he? He was three. He's only 10 years younger than me. We're, okay. It's a 10 year difference. But when we were little kids, we would wrestle a lot and I'd oh. pick on him and stuff and I'd trip him on purpose. I'm telling you, like, that's why he's so hard headed with me. Oh. Um, it's funny, actually. But, you know, I guess there was a point where I was just picking on Gabriel too much and my mom got upset with me. <laughs> she's like, Johnny, stop messing with Gabriel. And I was still fucking wrong with him, you know? And that's when my mom, you know, she, like, the very first time, I like, she laid hands on me, bro. Damn. And I was just like, I can't. Bug. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the whole, my world was, like, turned upside down. I was like, my mom really hit me. <laughs> I cried. I was 13 and I cried. <laughs> so oh, that's fucking like it's not funny probably in that moment, but it's funny. But now. yeah, yeah, no, it is. Yeah. It's funny looking back at it, but just because of that one moment, bro. Like I never want to uh, like just like, cross the yeah, line cross again. Line. You know, yeah. I learned that one time. I learned my lesson. That's it, dude. I was so stubborn. I didn't learn my lesson. No, know. yeah. So for me, it's just like uh, I don't know. I I, I learned from my first mistake. You know, so yeah. that's just how I am. But yeah, man, like my parents were never strict, bro. Uh, like I could sneak out. I could be out at four in the morning with my friends out about bonfire watching movies and come home. See, bro, I never snuck out just once. Yeah, shit, fuck that. I, and I was just like, man, like Crystal was all about that life. And I was like, no, nah, like mom and dad are going to get mad. Stop, chill. I was yeah, I know, I know you were always like kind of like, what is it against her. I know she was like a rebel. To yeah, but what would you call me then? Like a kind of, I don't want to say like a pussy. But like, kind of like a little like, uh, like oh no, mom and dad are gonna be mad, you know. But you would also, I think you would also make them feel bad about it too. Who? Like Crystal, and because even, I didn't want her to do it, and even loop it down, you know. Like, but you, I feel like sometimes you just gotta let them be, you yeah. know. Like that's just how. But I know. Are. But like, there's some things that, especially like my little sister says, and I'm like, you gotta chill the f out. Really? Yes. Mm. I'll probably talk to you about that later, but I'm just like, yeah, yeah, relax. yeah. It's like, you are 16 years old, yeah. you know? There's certain things that I've seen and I've grown up where I see 16 year old. I used to be a 16 year old and made mistakes. And I'm just like, okay, you cannot, if you go down that route, you're not going to go anywhere good, you know? But here's the thing with me. Like, I'm telling you, this is where I'm just like, I'm more like pro be do whatever the fuck you want because you'll learn from it, bro. But the thing is for me, bro, it's just like kind of what you just said, like, if you make an action and it causes you bad, like it's gonna like affect you in a really negative way. Yeah, but I've learned from those. Like, but what mistakes? if you don't have a chance to learn and it's that time where you really fucked up, you know? And it can be anything. Maybe you're with the wrong people. And I was get, I was with the wrong crowd, bro. Trust me on that. I don't know if I ever got. Well, but the thing is, bro, like I just know the community how it is over there, and I'm just like, mm. people would throw you under the bus and do it. Like I don't know. Like once Crystal made a mistake one time. And I don't want her to, like, uh, make those mistakes. And also just, like, if you take any, I don't know, dude, like, any small consequence can, like, really fuck you up. Yeah. And I'm just scared of that, you know. I'm just like, I don't want to, like, I don't want you to be in those positions to make those mistakes. Damn. Like, I'm going to just prevent the whole fucking thing. I was like, and I'm very lenient and cool ass dude, like, brother, you know. I'm like, you know, if you go out and you go get to a party and you know you're lit and i was like i'll take you and i'll go pick you up no problem you know but like I, versus you go out and have a good time and then all of a sudden you're drunk and you're driving and you're 16 or 17 and you have an accident and now like you're locked up for life yeah that's that's you know kind of I mean? on them because like way. bro like there's so much shit that i see and i hear like there's a story where this kid he was like 18 years old 17 years old and mm -hmm. he was just getting lit bro like they were late, like, I don't know if they were high or crossed or whatever. And it was, like, 6 in the morning, and they just missed the stoplight. And this other car was just coming real fast, and they got hit, and and they uh, passed away, bro. Wow. Just like that. 
just because they were having a good time, not worried about nothing, and they missed one stoplight and they 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 lost it. They lost their life, you know. And that scares me. And I'm already a paranoid person. How I how I am, you know. I I, I know trip that. about everything. You do. Like I'm just like I'm. Yeah, you do. I'm like, bro. Like, don't stop here. Like, sketchy. You know. Like, I'm just super paranoid all the time. Yeah, but I also have to look up to my sisters in a way for that too, bro. Mm-hmm. Because they did it always. As a like, uh, being young, they always gave me this word of advice. You know, just always be sure to be around the people you trust. Uh, because somewhere dude, you're safe. I've been through like, I haven't been through fucked up shit, but I've seen so many people go through fucked up shit. And I'm like just seeing the damage that it causes to those people, like getting shot, getting a gun pulled on them, losing friends, losing loved ones. I, I see the fallback. I see the damage that it's done. I don't see what happens. I see the aftermath. And that fucks me so much mentally, bro. I'm just like, like no, you know, like, I mean, that, like, just like those kids that passed away, like, you know, I was dating somebody that I used to be best friends with. The, the brother or something like that you know they're tied in mm-hmm. and like she just told me like what the fuck was going on at their house she went to go visit the family and I'm just like hearing it and she's like just sad kind of crying I'm just like like just that fallback you know like Shit. you never think like you're having a good night you go get lit and, and you just like oh let's go get some Cheetos at the gas station you know um, and I mean that could be like your last fucking drive just because you're lit you know mm-hmm. and that's when like I think and I get super paranoid bro and my thoughts just creep up on me, and I'm like, fuck that. You know, like, fuck that. Damn. So. Yeah, I've never really had anything, ex- like, an experience with, like, close ones having, or close ones having lost ones, or mm-hmm. close mm-hmm. close ones being lost. Bro, like, I'm telling you, bro, like, I don't know what it is. Like, I've had people, I don't know how many people you know that passed, but I've known too many, bro. I don't know a lot. I don't know, I know enough. too many, bro. Like, I mean, and it, and it's funny because <laughs> not funny, but it's weird because it all started with our grandpa. You know, oh, that year, bro. I think I went to three funerals. Mm. It, it fucked me up. I was like, people died, and then later throughout the year, it was like one person. Just this past year, bro. You know, it was Emilio's brother. It was another kid. It was like three. It was. It's been like at least five kids from La Vega, bro. Damn. The school I graduated from. Wow. You know, just back to back, you know, cancer, uh, shooting, uh, accidents. And it's just like, it's very just like, what the fuck, you know? And that's why I'm so paranoid. And that's why I'm like, I am how I am with my sisters. Yeah. You know, and, you know, but again, um, hold on. Um, yeah, dude, that's crazy that you're that you're saying all of that, bro. Um, but I mean, that's kind of why I like, like, you know, where I left off, like how I am with my sisters and how I am with life, bro. Because like. It's just like even like at that gas station on the way back, and I was like, no, it's too fucking sketchy. It's too sketchy. You know, and I'm just like, bro, like I know one time I was in Dallas with this girl, um, um, and we were just having a good time, bro. Like, and it's the first time I went out of town with the girl. It was so special, you know. Uh, shout out to the girl for having a good time with her. Um, but um, it was late night, and we were just downtown, bro, just kicking it back. And I remember I had my, I had just got my ring for state, so um, I was you know mm-hmm. flexing the ring and you know just having a good time and. Uh, kind of being in that environment alone with someone else where you could get mugged or not. Um, you just don't expect it, right? So then, like, we're getting followed. We're walk- I haven't told you the story. So we're getting no. followed. And she's a very alert person, too. She's And this is why, like, I like her or I liked her so much, you know, and I'm so upset that things didn't work out because, like, I was just like, well, like, I'm the same way, you know? And she was just like, hey, this guy's following us. And I didn't even know. And I was like, for how long? She's like, it's been like, you know, a good minute, you know? And I was like, you know, okay, cool. And I remember, like, I, I, my ring, I think, was on my right, on my left hand. And I put it on my right hand, like, right here in the middle, just in case I had to, like, hit this dude. And I was so scared because I was like, wow, like, I got to hit this dude to defend this girl, you know? If it was just me, I would have just, like, ran away. Honestly, you know, but now I got to protect this girl. Like, not because, like, you know, to flex, but, you know, kind of just, like, I don't want her to, like, get hurt or nothing. Right, right. So... Um, from that day on, bro, they kind of just changed me. Like, that dude, he fell off because I think he realized, because I kept looking back, like, yo, like, you know, it's like, kind of like giving him, like, ugly vibes, like, what the fuck? And the, luckily, he fucked, he fucked off, and, like, we kind of got out of there and just dipped. But, uh, it was like shit like that that happens to me, and I'm like, man, like, you just never know. Wow. You just never know, bro. That's and, crazy. And that's why I'm so, like, fucking paranoid all the time. You know, with shit. And, like, that's why you see me here and there, like, lock the doors, close the doors. It's like, oh, you hear me, like, the over there, the curtains? I was like, yeah, that's me locking up because... Yeah, man, yeah. I mean, we've been robbed at the house, bro. 
I've never had that experience. So it's either. just like like people, you just never. So it, it just fucks with you, bro. And I'm just like, no, nope, like don't go to Texas. Nah, fuck that, <laughs> bitch. We're in Chicago. Shut up. <laughs> hey, nothing happened to me. We're good. It's all straight here. Nah, bro. It's just experiences, bro. That you just get paranoid as fuck. Yeah. You know, and that's why I am how I am, bro. And, but I mean, I try to like understand, like enjoy the fucking moment. Shut the fuck up. You yeah. Know? I mean, but I know when there's times, dude. Like, okay, like. I remember there's been times where like I've been like drunk, and I'm, I gotta manage the situation because everybody's freaking out. Yeah, like, like, I come the fuck down. Like, I, yeah, that's me in those situations too, bro. Like I've been to like parties, I've been to little get-togethers, you know, yeah. and everybody's fucked up, and I'm just like, you know what? I gotta be the fucking leader here. I gotta be the one to manage to yeah. to, to 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 take whoever I have to take home safely and yeah. be the one. I'm be like. Primarily take myself home safely too, yeah, you know, because yeah. that that's just most important to me. Yeah, and uh, yeah, man, like you know, I get it in those situations, and yeah. luckily, like I know when, when something's not right, bro, I pick it up like that. Like I hate, I remember at the beginning, I was like, why do I always have like this feeling of like doubt, like that's not that's not sitting right with me, you know, and like ever since like some crazy shit, like the whole parent, like me getting paranoid, and actually someone followed me, actually being robbed. Um, luckily, like I've never been. Or just in fucking Vegas. That tripped me out too. I was like, motherfuckers just gonna fucking wanna hit me for no hey, good reason. That's a good story, but we will we not talk save about that. Yeah, we're gonna save that for another time. Vegas story coming up. Yeah, and uh, shit like that, bro. I'm just like, you just gotta be ready, you know? I feel like, sorry, this is totally off topic, but this is has this has to do with podcasts. Uh-huh. Uh, we should just have like one topic conversations and like may or may not be recorded but like say that little vegas trip yeah. it'd be like a good 30 minute little podcast yeah i know what you mean but yeah sorry stories like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah little yeah, stories yeah. bro we could probably int- implement that like like do the podcast and then 30 minutes of a story all right yeah sorry go on so like those moments like you know where like you get caught in those situations you're like okay like this shit's real it's going down you know and like you know those are scary or one time too in mexico bro like people try to mug us Damn. fucking crazy Luckily, they didn't have no gun. I would have shit my pants. But I remember to my mom, I was like, Mom, give me my sneakers. Like, What do you mean by that? Like, I had sandals on. Oh. I was like, Mom, give me my sneakers just in case she gets real. Like, I'll throw hands. I ain't got no gun, but I'll throw hands, you know, if I got to. Yeah. And it's just like those moments, bro, they traumatize you. I was so scared, bro, in Mexico. Like, they like they were banging on their window, bro. Like, open the what? fucking window. Like, y'all better pull the fuck over. Talking mad shit, bro. And I was like... We gonna die, you know. All <laughs> this thing like they're gonna chop our heads off and shit. I was just that scared though. That's me being paranoid. Yeah, I mean, well, I'd be. I think I'd have the same. You know, and too. I'm just like, fuck. Like, I mean, I was like, if I'm gonna die this way, I better die fucking fighting. You know. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. And um, but we luckily we made it and bro to the crossing the border. I was so paranoid. I was like, man, these motherfuckers can be crazy. They can have other people in Texas just waiting to follow us. Blah blah. Like you know, I was like, I was we're, we're just upset. It was crazy, bro. And, uh, you know, shout out to my dad for reacting the way he did. He was like, fuck this. We're getting the fuck out of here. He fucking just spun the truck, got the fuck out of there. We fucking dented the fucking truck and everything. But we got the fuck out of there, and I haven't been back to Mexico since then, bro. <laughs> and uh, that's why I have, like, yeah, bro, it's this crazy story. Like, we got to tell. Another story we can tell. We can... Another story, bro. Yeah, I'm bro. telling you, man. So we this gotta... is why I'm so fucking paranoid all the time, bro. Like, that shit don't sit right with me, bro. You know? I've never had an, I've never had any like experiences like that, and it, it just might be like because I'm from the suburbs. Yeah, I don't know, man, but it's fucking, it's that's why like when people talk about Wakey and I'm like, bro, like, like you know, like it scares me, but I'm like, bro, I probably fuck with those people, like just because I know like the vibe. Yeah, okay. you know, and when people say, oh, Wakey's ugly, I'm like, then y'all probably wouldn't like me because I'm like not the same way, but like I was raised a lot by shit like that. Yeah. And, um, but anyways, man, like, I don't know how we got cut up in we all this shit. off track. But, like, um, <laughs> so, I mean, again, shout out to my parents, and that's why I'm paranoid, and, like, I am who I am because oh, of them. Oh, I think that's where we were going. Yeah, like, you know, I am who I am because of them. And Hopefully, that. I could get into a little bit more detail, too, like that, bro, uh, because, to me, it's, like, something I, I wish I could talk about on the podcast, mm-hmm. but it's, like, very personal to me. Just because it's just, I don't know it's yeah. really, it's very strange for me especially lately now yeah so it's it's tough but I know I have to man up I have to be the like, I feel like I should be the man yeah. in in my family you know I think especially, that's kind of where 
I'm taking that role. I know my dad, but I think now my dad's in a point where he has to be more like a, a grandfather figure. Exactly. You know? you know, that's what I would wish for, for my dad too, you know, to be, hey, you're a grandpa now. Like you don't you like you're, step down. You like know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your 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 time's up. Not like up, but like you did your time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I for that. sure. Because and I feel like now it's now it's like to me it's like now it's on me, bro. Like I have to be the one to to kind of be like that father figure, not yeah. father figure, but, but kind of like, like a role model. Role model mm-hmm. for sure. I get that, bro. Because although I'm the youngest, I still feel like I have enough. I feel like you have a lot more to, time to ins- to show to improve. show to inspire. To, to show to prove to my sisters to my mom to my nephews to my you nieces just lead yeah man like it's it's my turn now yeah that's how i feel like you know i feel like that i'm in that transition where especially now that my uh little nephew's born like you know kind of my parents are like kind of uh we're done yeah. not necessarily done being parents but like hey like now our responsibilities exactly. are a little different like your your little sister i mean she, like she's growing up too man you know yeah and she's it's just, about to, she's gonna what turn well, she's cl- getting close to eighteen. Yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. I so, think yeah. next year she's eighteen. It's almost it's almost time for them to be like, it's, all right, settle down. And it's kind of like, uh, yeah, like my I don't want to say my father's stepping down, but I think it's time for me to actually just step up as right. a man, right? And kind of be like the example and lead the way. Mm-hmm. As not as, maybe as you can say like as a father figure or as just a leader in general. And kind of like, hey, like, you know, this is the example. These are the expectations. Like, I got to set those expectations. I got to set those examples. I got to lead the way. And, like, you know, we got to be united as a family, as a whole. Now that we have, like, you know, George in our family. And then uh, later on when I have someone else in my family. And same thing with my little sister. And I think till my kids have kids, I mean, that's when I'll step down. But I think right now it's just, like, my come up. Like, right now it's, like, I'm, I'm showing up. And it's time for me. I think yeah. it's time for both of us to step up. Yeah, I mean, we have no excuse not to. You I know, mean, we don't have. It's like a, we talk about it. It's like we have nothing to lose. Yeah, man. Uh, we're not in a like neither one of us are in a serious relationship. We don't have any kids. Luckily. Luckily. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're not trying to show, throw shade at anyone who has kids. No, yeah, nothing like that. But I but think like we have look at it this the, in a positive way. We yes. have the ability to to make mistakes. To uh, I don't know to kind of like just. Exp- just throw ourselves at things, yeah, you know, have, whether or not they work. Lux, yeah, luckily we're blessed enough to to fail and make mistakes and lose a lot of money, yeah, and lose a lot of time. Not time, but like sacrifice, like me. Like I don't get to spend time with my family. Yeah. Um. Like you know, and I know you definitely. You know, I know your your situation with your family is a little different, but it's just like we don't. We can kind of like sacrifice those moments and those times because I mean, if you really wanted to, mm-hmm. you know, you can go. Uh, to Mexico or you can go to Colorado and I, I questioned that I was like why doesn't he you know and I mean maybe I don't know if you're figuring things out or whatever's going on but I think the route you're going on it's it's a good one and I know later you can kind of regroup and yeah no and eventually yeah dude I want to give back I know it's crazy bro because and give I, back to the family you know to my family yeah, I know sure. this is it's crazy how I see the future bro I'm gonna just bring this up real quick and then we'll go back but it's go just like it. I see myself in Texas with my family and I'm just like if Johnny has accomplished a lot, I know he's gonna go to Colorado and yeah. buy a house and go be over there. Yeah. And I'm just like, and I don't want to say like I'm just like that's gonna like suck for me, you know. But I'm just like you know like I think at the end of the day like seeing you reach what you want, mm-hmm. and I think you've been like looking for that, bro. Like that uh, like I don't know what to call it, bro. But I think you've been looking for like that. Not saying the closure, but like kind of like. Almost like I don't know, like an end goal or like, okay. or that thing like where a destination in a way for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah like actually like like home for a while. I was like, man, like if everything works out with the for us, I was like, I can definitely see Johnny just like going to Colorado like a year from now. Like yeah. how I want to settle in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I can <laughs> see him going to Colorado, and I was like, that's gonna suck. But I mean, I get it, you know. But I, I see it too. But I don't see it happening. Like I don't see myself settling down to like I'm like thirty, bro. You know what? <sighs> Fucking. And it's crazy, to to, about this in a minute, but it's crazy to, to me to think that when I was younger, bro, I wanted to have kids at a young age. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be 22, 23 having a kid. I don't want to be like I want to be young and enjoy like enjoy my youth with my yeah, kid, you know. Yeah. But that was only because I grew up with my nephews, and I was just like, I want to have this much fun with my kids, yeah, you know. Yeah. But I still feel like I'll have 
enough money. If I take care of myself, if I'm if I'm like still working out, obviously I'm still gonna have yeah. that bit of youth in me still, you know. Yeah. But I think like back to the thing like where we have kind of a lot to lose and it's okay for us to sacrifice a lot. Um, it's a good opportunity for both of us, and I think this is why we're like we're working together and doing shit together. Cause like both of us, I mean, we don't have shit to lose. I mean, honestly, the only thing we have to worry about is paying rent and like you paying your car payment. But besides that, there's nothing else. Yeah. We can like live our lives like that if we wanted to. Right. We could literally. Yeah. That's it. literally. We can literally it. just work for bills if you wanted to. We could literally be working. I have a car uh, that works just fine. Week for low week. pressures. The tire pressure is low, but that's it. <laughs> you know. Um, so and it's just like good. shout no, out. Just kidding. No, nah, like, you know, just again, shout out to the fam for, for yeah. what they've done for for me and just the Vargas family in general, bro. Like. I was like, I mean, yeah. The most of, as in, like, when I think about it in the past, like, very united. I think we fell apart growing up as the kids and stuff like that. But hopefully we can kind of bring that vibe back. Eventually. But shout out to them. And that's kind of how the goodbye happened with my mom. I know that's how we ended off. Mm. But, I mean, kind of back. So, I mean, that all that shit, guys, you know, hopefully you guys take something from that and kind of relate to it. But uh, we're heading back to Texas now. Right. And, um... We're like, I don't even know if we're on our feelings. I don't know if we're just like jamming or we just feel good about just what happened. But I mean, I was in a very good mood and uh, I wasn't thinking about nobody specifically, but I was just definitely feeling the the, the music. And we were listening to like love music, like corridos. Oh, oh um, okay. So we're talking about the, the drive back. Yeah, now oh. we're talking about the drive back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it was so strange. Well, I was obviously in my feels. No, no cat. For real? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, what am I not in my feels? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, man, we were just playing the jams on the way back. We were playing some Bruno Mars. Oh yeah. We were like, let's let's take a trip. Let's take a trip to memory lane. You know, we were singing our heart out to like no fucks given. Yeah. Uh, we were listening to the weekend. We were listening to I don't know, man, just a bunch of throwbacks. We were just like, bro, let's just go back in time and just yeah. you know enjoy the moment. Yeah, and it was it was good. It was a good drive back, and uh, yeah, it felt it was a lot better than driving at night. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Oh, we had Castro too. Yeah, we oh yeah, we're Castro. watching Castro for like what seven uh, hours. Yeah, we watched bro. it for a long time. It was. It I was like, made wow. time fly like crazy. I, know, for I was us. like, damn. I didn't know we started watching at eleven, and then it was like, right before we got to Nashville. To Nashville, yeah. That's when we started like stop listening to him. Yeah. Or watching him, I was like, what? That was a good trip. Yeah. Shout out to. Uh, that's another thing. Like you know, we're traveling. We went to Memphis, and it looked lit. You know, yeah. we're like, oh, this is like it could be a vibe. It was. It was strange to me how I don't know. Uh, like the houses I saw, they looked so awesome and down a busy street too. Yeah, that's something you don't see over here. I guess I don't know. Every it's state just is every, yeah, every state's different. Because I've been down to Michigan, bro, and I'm like, Michigan's this disgusting. Damn, <laughs> I didn't like Michigan. Yeah, and sorry. Uh, <laughs> we had some good fried chicken from Memphis. Fucking delicious. It was delicious. Yeah, some macaroni. Some macaroni, and uh, we got to go back again and just have a, another time there just to visit. And yeah, man. And honestly, that's something I wish we could still do in the future. Uh, I feel like more comfortably with more time. Maybe well, we've been our... talking about like uh, SUVs, like, you know, a work SUV to travel and move around. Remember we were talking about that for a little Was bit? Was it too? an SUV? Okay, yeah, like an SUV. Yeah, yeah you know, just like taking vehicle. little trips, you know? Yeah. Obviously, it'd be fun uh, still to experience with you, but also even with like. Other even friends, if we, even with our friends people, or yeah. significant others, for sure, man, yeah. that'd be that'd be lit, and that would be the dream, I think, for me. You know, yeah. I think that's that's like a goal for me. No, same, bro. I love, like, I think I realize how much like traveling can do. Just at least for me, like mentally, like it makes me feel good, and yeah, you kind of just get to know like a different type of environment. Just like, wait for, just wait till we get to Colorado, my guy. I know, man. Just it's wait. Be different. It's gonna hit you so fucking different, man. Like. I bet. We have to be there for at least like a good, a solid week Damn. to yeah. have that good Colorado experience. I'm going to take you everywhere I went, bro, and you're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait, bro. Hopefully, it's the first time you try Elk, too, there. Cause we'll see. The elk was... We'll mm. see. Mm -mm -mm. Amazing. So, I mean, but besides that, though, I mean, the trip was pretty, like, it felt good, and I was ready to come back home, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh... I mean, we made it home, luckily, safely. I got my TV over here, mm -hmm. finally. And uh, the whole trip, I mean, it was good. And now we're kind of facing the consequences of the uh, the fallback a little bit. But yeah, we're I mean, picking it was, up again now. It was like a good 36 hours. Not gone to waste, but like, 
Just trying. A backtrack, a backtrack. But we're still kind of like catching pick, up that. We're catching up those we're making up that hours. time, yeah. And we're catching up by the uh, by putting in those hours after work. You know, Before like you said, work. like those three hours. In like what, what did he say earlier? You're like I was like you're was putting like, in those I'm, three I'm like, hours in those I was like, two years. People are gonna look at me later. I'm gonna tell them like I'm stupid as fuck. But I was like I put in three hours every day for two years and that added up. Yeah, like do the math. Do the math. You figure yeah. it out. You know. And um, but I mean, uh, again, <laughs> shout out to the people you know who showed us love and for real. who made the my family, my friends, the people uh, that we work with and made the trip. That experience and beautiful, uh, and even Emilio. Yeah, for um, sure. It was just a good, good experience, and it was it was crazy. Yeah, I know I got a lot of good feedback too. Um, I got some feedback from some old friends. Mm-hmm. I got some feedback from my family. Uh, so yeah, man, it's like we're on the right track, bro. Yeah, and it's um, I kind of now like I want to dive into before we finish up here in like a few minutes. Yeah. I mentioned like wrote down the notes, so I know how we were talking about like. You know, seeing you in Colorado, like, in the next year. And I know I said I want to go to Texas the next year. Right. And move there. And how you're not ready to really settle down. And yeah. definitely making these trips, making this trip and seeing St. Louis and seeing uh, Memphis and then talking to AJ about Seattle. I'm like, I don't think I'm ready to settle at all. Right. I was like, I definitely want to go to Memphis and maybe be there, like, three, four months. Airbnb or whatever the fuck it is. Well, here's the thing, man. We could be so fucking flexible with that, too. You know? Like, I, I know you said, like, your goal is Texas. Your Texas is, I mean, your goal is Texas. But, dude, the, the days go by, and I'm like, Texas, it's like every day that goes by is like a day added to Texas. So, like, now, I don't see Texas at all next year moving in. I don't, I don't see myself moving in Texas no more, bro. I see myself maybe getting an apartment and, like, having it there when I get to Texas. Or I don't even know, man. Yeah. Or like, in Austin. I don't even know anymore because I... I was like, if I have my room at my parents' house, I can crash there in the meantime, mm-hmm. you know? And if I have the money, I can land in the airport there in Waco. And then, um, I mean, there's no need to have a place in Texas if I have Waco, in the one in Waco, and I can just travel mm-hmm. from there. And that's just like, I know when we visit uh, Seattle, we're going to go to Seattle in like less than two months for sure, if not two months. <laughs> um, I think that's crazy to me, man. Like, I didn't expect this at all. I know. And I know we're going to go to Colorado before my birthday, which that's in March. Yeah. Which, so it's going to be in February. But I, I know for sure we have to go to Colorado, like, next year. I no know. cap. Before yeah. fall. Before the summer. Mm. Before the summer, bro. Um, so it's just, like, those things, like, you know, for the people listening, like, all I got to say is, before you settle down anywhere, like, just go see what's out there first. Like, just go make a trip across the United States and back and just look at cities and and you're gonna you're gonna get curious you're gonna get curious I, I wanna know what St. Louis is about I wanna yeah. know what Memphis is about I wanna know what Colorado's about I wanna know what LA is about yeah. I wanna know what Miami's about dude because I, th- I think like, that's man. I think it's crazy you say that because I know a lot of people that live in Mundelein they're like yo fuck Mundelein but they've never like moved out of yeah. Mundelein and I'm like, yeah, my life fucking sucks, bro. I yeah. want to make it out. Yeah. So it's like that, bro. Like, you know, to the people listening, like, don't just, bro, we're broke as fuck. And we made a drive to Texas, okay? Yo. And um, <laughs> we're happy as fuck. And, like, Dude. it's all, like, I don't even, it's not even materialistic shit, bro. It's all, like, you figure out, you start to figure out who you are and what you like and what makes you happy. And that makes you happy in general when you know. I think it's just a feeling of knowing, like I'm going the right path or the right direction. Mm-hmm. It's such a satisfying feeling, bro. Uh, when you said that we weren't, we were broke and went to Texas. Yeah. You don't know how concerned I was when we went to Texas, my guy. I don't. I think a week ago, a week before Texas, I was like negative ninety. Oh, you did tell me. <laughs> yeah. I was fucked. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I don't know if I should go to Texas. I don't put myself in those situations, but I know I mess up my credit for those situations. Uh, yeah. And I take the bullet on that. Well, I got to negative ninety just trying to take care of my credit, but I think now it's not not right. Uh, like maybe these last. These next this week and next week is gonna be like a little impactful on my credit. Yeah. But dude, uh, like I said, we're we're happy as fuck, yeah. and I'm not too worried about my credit because I feel like it's decent, it's fair, you know. But uh, 
Like, I'm not too stressed about it because, like I said, we we could still make these mistakes right now and yeah. still... And that's the key thing, guys. Like, it. if you... Johnny's a good example. You know, he has a car payment. Uh, we're about to have serious rent here. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he kind of got put in that situation. It's not like he wanted to go out and... I mean, you made a mis- I don't know if it's a mistake with the car, but you kind of made a... You kind of you can learn from it, I guess you could say. Yeah, because I did get into detail with you once, and you were like, oh, shit, like, that's why you're in this fucking yeah. bit of a shit, shit show with the yeah. car. And I'm like, yeah, that's why, and, dude. Um, but just, like, just know, like, if you're under fucking 24, and I mean, I'm pretty sure you hear this all the time, like, like there's no big fucking deal. Like, as long as you're doing something every day, I've said this before, as long as you do something every day to like be better, you know, if it's us like working right here, um, just know like that shit's gonna pay off one day. Like we've been only working for like probably a solid, we've been working maybe you can say for like five months, but really hard, maybe the past three months or two mm-hmm. months. This podcast, um, this is probably I think our month anniversary, this episode, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I think like legit podcast, I think legit podcast is the third or fourth one though. Mm-hmm. But I mean, what we put up so far, I think it's like the fifth one. Yeah, I don't know, but it's just like, guys, this is this is the beginning, and you guys are gonna see the come up. But this is what happens when you put in those three hours after work every day, though. You know, I want to say this one time. I know we talked about that too. It's just like an extra twenty minutes or whatever. But if you do the math, bro, if you do one times three hundred sixty-five or whatever, three sixty-four, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be three sixty four, right? Mm-hmm. One times it's three sixty five. Yeah. Three sixty five, right? One times three sixty five is three sixty five. If you do one times zero point one times three sixty five, there's a big, there's actually a very big difference in that. Mm-hmm. And that's just that's this that's just to kind of put in perspective of like what we mean by putting in the extra time. You know, like that yeah. time builds up, bro. Over a year, it'll build up for sure. Yeah. And you'll feel it. You'll notice yeah. it. Even like now when I'm editing videos, bro, I'm just like cruising. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm just like yeah, I've done this so many times. Right? And you're getting used to it. You're only getting better, and you're only getting more comfortable. And yeah, get, for sure, you know, man. You get faster, and like you know, for you guys listening, again, just keep in mind, we don't, we don't have much materialistic. You know, you can look at it inside or outside, and be like, oh, like you know, like you know, I don't know, I don't know what your opinions are, but just know, like we have nothing materialistic that makes us fucking happy, um, and or any better than like. And then yeah like you know like, like we said already too on this podcast bro we're only recording with a freaking iphone yeah we have an iphone and a we're f- trying to get a nice camera a lamp and this mic right here yeah look at the size of this it's fucking like 40 dollars on amazon it's more expensive than like m- most of the shit here it is <laughs> it's probably the most expensive thing on this table yeah and um besides your phone <laughs> but i mean it's just like like i don't know man guys i i guess i want this podcast to to uplift people and to just know like just put in work every day every and day. and for me my word of advice my word of advice is there's no room for excuses like you should not make excuses at all mm-hmm. you know like I, I I feel like I I'm coming from a place where I I made so many excuses to not do this these things. And you stuff, do. You, you know? know what catches me off guard now though? Huh. I don't know. Like today, I don't know if you were making excuses today or if you were just tired. I was so confused early, and that's kind of why I give you shit. Yeah. But then I was like, oh, he's tired. I was, dude. I was. I was. When I seen you go over there and like kind of make these noises, I was like, that motherfucker's tripping. <laughs> I was. Um, I was genuinely. Because I was mad. I'm. I'm sorry, bro. But I was mad when you went to go sit down. I was like, dude, are you serious right now? I was yeah. genuinely tired as fuck, yeah. But then I, I actually picked up and I was like, oh, he's tired. Like, you know, dude, I get it, you know? Because I don't know, if, like, dude, I'm telling you, man, this fucking past week. And that's why I asked you, I was like, dude, are you okay? You know? I was not. <laughs> I was like, dude, since we fucking come back from Texas, bro, like, I feel like I've been on a grind, you know? Yeah. Like, if anything, there's probably been, like, a day off, like, I've had, like, for myself, that's you know? That's came to more, like... After like five o'clock, bro. That's it. I want to say that too, bro. But I like, know, I know. I want to say that, but I know <laughs> yeah. it's gonna. It's not gonna be like that, bro. I'm probably gonna work my ass off till. Oh, I don't know, yeah, dude. We'll see. Know. Yeah, I know. I know. <sighs> Anyways, um, what do you? Word advice. Come on. Oh, just don't fucking make excuses, man. Yeah. But anyways, and this I, is someone who came from making a lot of excuses. Yeah, and I've been just pushing myself to these whole like this limit, man. You know. Uh, it's crazy, bro. I was seriously exhausted today, bro. Yeah. Uh, well, let's not get into that right now. 
yeah dude but it's just like guys like same thing with me i've made so many excuses and avoided so many situations but it's like if you face that situation and and not necessarily get it over with but you actually like fight it and like fight the the laziness fight the excuses like you're gonna start finding yourself like calling yourself out like are you really like you know like what are you gonna do about it you're gonna be lazy you're gonna get work done and you i mean you're just gonna get so much shit done mm-hmm. if you push yourself to the limit every day and, and just try to be better than every, than the day before the, the, yeah then the day you know that's kind of just my motto now bro it's just like you know was i better than yesterday that's yeah. ask yourself that question every day and i and if you keep saying no 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 you should want to make a change in your life you know mm. uh, i don't know what's fine um uh last thing i do want to talk about before we wrap up i put up keeping up with each other so these last days have been very like grunt and very like grindy very like just like we are pushing ourselves bro we're like this we're like you know like barely crawling bro to the finish line and (laughs) it's funny because to me I'm just like I'm like it's like if we're running in a race and I'm looking at you I'm like when the fuck are you gonna stop? Mm. Cause I want to like slow the fuck down, mm. you know. And then it's just I like hate you for that. Cause I'm like, stop for a second, bro. Give me a break. And you I and but I in my head and I, the thing and, and I think in both of our heads we're like, I'm not gonna stop before you. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop till you stop. You know. And we do that a lot in the gym, but even when it comes down to work, we do that still. I know. Yeah. And um, I think. And I find that, and I, I know, like, the last few days or the last week itself, coming back from Chicago, I mean, from Texas, um, I think it kind of hit us in a way where, like, okay, let's get back, let's work, let's work, like, we got to make this happen. So, like, when I'm working and you're working, I'm just like, I got to be better, I got to be better. And it's nothing against you, but I just want to be better, you know? I mean, like, that's the same for me. And I, I just, like, like, I just want to. I want to be the best in the in the gym, in this house, um, in the grocery store, anywhere I go. I want to be the best, you know? Um, And I think it's just like... It builds a competitive on my side, too, when you're like that, you know? It's like, it's fucking right back at you, man. Yeah, and it's just like the last few days have been very, very challenging because I know both of us are exhausted, and uh, but it's just like, who's going to tap out first, you know? But I think today we can kind of conclude, like, (laughs) we need to fucking chill out and... And kind of like, I, and I'm hoping for tomorrow it's going to be like, like I get all this stuff done. So then I help back into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those start, those days start to calm down now, you know, like yeah. less stressful, less calm. And I just want to say though, like, like I'm at a point where I haven't like worked out this hard. I haven't worked in hard in general like this. I'm at my, I want to say peak, but I feel fine. Like, in reality, like, yes, I'm a little tired. My head fucking hurts, whatever. Um, but at the end of the day, luckily, I get to eat. I get to, you know, drink some water. I have a good day. I have a good-ass workout. Yeah. And I have the things I want, and I'm, I'm fine. But And I know in six to a, six months to a year, I'm going to appreciate all this shit I did. Yeah, man. No doubt about it. I feel it. the same way. Yeah. I think about that, and I was like, dude, if you give up now, like, you're going to regret this shit in six months. Or even tomorrow. Oh, to me, it's not even like giving up, man. Like, or just being lazy. I don't know. Or what do you mean? Just giving, getting ourselves a break, yeah. man. Like, yeah. dude, since that first podcast, and I was just like, we haven't stopped, bro. Yeah. We still haven't stopped. Yeah. We still haven't. And it's stopped, funny because bro. like we want to stop, right? You like like right now we're gonna try and watch a movie, but I know damn well my ass is gonna pay attention so hard to this podcast. I'm gonna try and not to listen to the podcast because we didn't fuck up too much. Yeah. Um. But it's just like you want to stop, and you don't. But and but people talk about this shit like you gotta find a balance, bro, and you gotta calm the fuck down. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like we are trying to make our name for ourselves, and we're trying to get out there. And I mean, there's gonna be someone out there who's either working as hard as us, or if not harder, you know. And I know like, you fuck that guy. Like, you experienced no. this last night, and I experienced it today. I think yeah. I think when I see you today, I was like, oh, what if he's going through what I'm going through last night? Because last night, last bro, night, it was, like, was 11.30. I'm like, bro, why are you still stressing out? Why are you still thinking about this? You told yourself you wanted to give yourself a br- Like, you wanted to stop work at dude, all costs. I wanted to cry at, last night. At all times. Like, you wanted to stop at 10. 
You know? I wanted to cry last night so bad, bro. Like, I was laying down like this. I was like, why can't I go to sleep? <laughs> you were so mad. You were stressed out. I'm like, bro, you told yourself you want to stop at 10, you know? Mm-hmm. And today, I, like, today to me, it was like. But it's funny because today you were like, I feel cool. Like, I'm in a groove. I'm in flow. the morning, I did. In the morning, I fucking did. But, like, mm-hmm. once I sat down there and I was there for, like, a good, like, four hours, five hours, like, just. I don't and know I didn't why. I didn't realize that, dude, because like I said, my mind's in a different place. When you were like out here doing this and you went over there, I was like, why is he bitching? But in my head, I wasn't thinking about like the time I left and I was in the shower in the restroom because I was in the restroom for like an hour. You were in the restroom. You were in the shower. I know you were making these phone calls. And to me, it's just like, I know he's making these phone calls for business and they're all business related yeah. and stuff. But like to him, it's not like him. He's not. I don't know. I, I, I hate to complain, bro. I hate to it's complain. It's not the same, though. Yeah. But it's like, I know you're doing your business and stuff, but like, to me, it was like, while you were doing all that, bro, I was on the screen and I was just like, locked in. I was locked in. I was focused and I was just like, I wasn't really on my phone a lot like that, you know? And this is, that's a mistake I made of not acknowledging that earlier, you know? I was just kind of giving you shit, but I didn't think, and then I thought about it. I was like, but what the fuck did I do? Yeah. I was in the shower. I did get a haircut. I was on the phone, but then I was like, okay, for the phone, like, obviously he's not on the phone. But, you know, I did my part with that. And yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I but, know you it was know, business, and, yeah. business related to And then I'm just like, okay, like, and I was like, what if this motherfucker's just, like, tired? I was you know? burnt out, bro. And I was burnt just like. Fuck out. I still am. Yeah. And my I was just like. Kind of hurts. And guys, like, honestly, like, getting prepared for this podcast was very challenging. I was this close of telling you, like, do you want to, like, pass it off? But I was like, there's no fucking way. Like, I stopped myself. I was like, there's no fucking way I'm going <sighs> to disappoint you guys. And. I'm glad you didn't because I think I would have passed it on today yeah. because honestly my mindset was just But just that's off. why I told you bro. I was like, dude, like stop working because I need you to to give me a solid hour and luckily we're going an hour and a half already. We're already more we, than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and um it's, it's been good and uh uh if you guys made it this far, just know like um obviously, you know, kind of relate to our story, listen to our story and hopefully you guys found that entertaining and inspiring. Right. And, you know, about the whole parent situation, too. But also, like, just know, people, like, we are just some two guys just trying to make some shit happen. Yeah. Nothing less, nothing more. You know, we have rent. We have payments. We have our little debts. Um, you know, we struggle. We stress. We fucking lose our shit sometimes. We drink alcohol. We trip we over girls. Yeah. yeah. We smoke weed. Like, we're so fucking normal. Oh, yeah. Like, Nothing special. We're nothing special. But the reason why we're doing this is because we do want a better life, and and we wanna, we wanna have a, I think a bigger purpose or a stronger purpose. I just know that when I am old, I wanna look back and I wanna look at all my accomplishments. You know, that's gonna be crazy to see, bro. Like yeah. that's the biggest thing for me. Like I went to my grandkids, and my great grandkids. Wow. Like this is what I, this is what I had done. You know, and you gotta carry this on, as a Fargus or whatever you are. Yeah, carry the and, torch. Um, you know, just carry on and kind of like just know like you only have one life, bro. Like when you really sit there and think, you know, like I could die tomorrow and my life is what it was, you know. Chills. Yeah, bro. It's <laughs> just like to the people out there like, bro, like if you're working at a job that you know fucking damn well you don't like or you're going to school because just cuz like I'm not saying to drop out, but do what you got to do, but also on the side Figure out who the fuck you are and figure out your purpose. Because that takes time. It takes fucking time to figure out who you are. Preach to all that, bro. That's it. I don't know if you got anything else to say before we finish up this podcast. I think you finished it off very strong, bro. Okay. Um, So, just know also two guys, False 9. False 9, brand, whatever you want to call it. uh, Big things coming. We got big plans. We're constantly figuring out how to grow this brand, grow the community, get connected to everybody. And just know, guys, we're working on the false nine every day. So yeah, 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 even yeah. if it's just talking about it with you or writing shit down or calling people, but just know we're trying to do something with this. And For sure. And uh, hopefully you guys keep showing love and, and stick with us now because I promise you guys in a few months or years, we're going to be somewhere, uh, hopefully a lot better place with a lot better equipment and just in a good spot where yeah man I know same you, conversations yeah same, same conversations. conversations I know you said you wanted to do vlogs and oh, you yeah. know, do little we streams got, for hobbies 
Yeah, well, yeah, again, guys, like, you know, if you guys, I know, like, I never, I never thought I was going to be asking for this, but any type of donation or subscription, whatever you want to call it, just know, like, that's all going to go towards equipment, nothing personal, like, you know, even right now, if profits for me, like, all that's going back into business, into this, you know? Yeah, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not going out and, like, yeah, I might buy me, like, a sweater here and there, but uh, it's all going, like, when I can, I'm going to buy a camera. When I can, I want to buy the podcast equipment. When I can, like, buy a better table, <laughs> buy that fucking $90 curtain we're trying to get, you know? Yeah, dude. Um, it's honestly all going to come back to this, um, ultimately, I think, too. Uh, yeah, like, when I think about money now, it's not, like, for myself anymore, yeah. you know? It's like, how can I use it to, to, to build to, something? To, to build, improve ourselves, and just, yeah, man, improve this, yeah. especially. So, uh but again, shout out to you guys uh, for those who are listening. And if you made it this far, just know we love you. And love we're going to give you shit back later on in the future when we can. Um, for sure. And uh, we'll see you guys next week uh, with episode 106, Thanksgiving edition. Uh, we're going to talk Ooh. about what we're thankful for and what we appreciate. And mm-hmm. uh, we'll get into that next week. And uh, I don't know how you want to finish off. Oh, hold on. Uh, my socials again uh, oh, yeah. my Instagram is at uh, the Alvaro Vargas um, and guys make sure to follow us on Spotify and show us love you know. social for me is uh, J Vegas on Snapchat and on Instagram I believe it's the same I really, yeah. I'm gonna have to double check cause and, uh, I'm kinda doubting I, it you gotta do the honors to, to finish up I kinda wanna switch it up bro really? Mm-hmm. to what? I don't want to. I don't want to say it's not as like today's dick anymore. But I just want to end it on a more positive note okay. and just be like, "Yo, thank you, peace and love." You know, I don't know something more positive than just. You gotta like, say something though. For like sure. Every every like every, every episode. What are we gonna say then? I have no idea. Mm. I have to piss. You gotta piss. Nah. <laughs> I gotta piss too. I don't know, man. Uh, well, I, it's just like that whole peace and love, you know, just, uh... I don't want to like so no, basic, though. It is basic. Peace and love. See you guys now. No excuses. Uh, what, what does David Goggins say? Stay hard. Stay hard. We can't use his shit. No, I know we, we can't. can use our own shit. But that's what, that's the type of yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. We, we gotta say. Um, I don't know. I know I say, like, never give up, stay positive. I know, I'm positive. like, mine is like, no excuses. No excuses. Um, well, let's do this. You say what you gotta say, and I do mine. Um... You follow. Guys, never give up. Be better than yesterday. And always stay positive. And remember, no excuses. There we go. Goodbye. Peace, people.